February 22, 2022 is a Tuesday. Welcome to your daily weather for Seattle. Dress for cold. The temperature today should reach up to 34 degrees Fahrenheit and down to 27 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity is at 39%. You can expect no rain and no snow today. Some clouds. We've got moderate wind at about 12 miles per hour. Tomorrow is going to be cold with few clouds. Thursday is going to be cold with few clouds. Friday is going to be cold with clear sky. Saturday is going to be cold with overcast clouds. Sunday is going to be cold with moderate rain. Monday is going to be cold with moderate rain. Small craft advisory in effect from 10 a.m. Monday to 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Tuesday. What northeast winds 15 to 25 knots? Where Puget Sound and Hood Canal. When, from 10 a.m. Monday to 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time Tuesday. Impacts, conditions will be hazardous to small craft. And now for the news. Warning, some news stories can be disturbing or offensive. Stories are provided by various sources. Next up, U.S. says Russia has a list of Ukrainians to kill or detain. Three U.S. officials confirmed the authenticity of the letter and its contents. Foreign policy first reported Friday on U.S. In other Washington news, 60 Minutes releases Erie Havana Syndrome audio after White House incidents. New audio posted by 60 Minutes on Sunday reveals what the noise linked to Havana Syndrome sounds like to those who claim to have experienced the mysterious condition. Wow, I have no opinion at all, but U.S. diplomats in Ukraine to spend night in Poland due to security, says Blinken Reuters. Washington, February 21 Reuters U.S. State Department employees who had been moved from Ukraine's capital, Kiev, to the west. Urn City of Lviv will spend the night in Poland for security reasons, U.S. Next up, World Bank readies $350 MLN disbursement to Ukraine statement Reuters. Washington, February 19 Reuters The World Bank Group is readying a $350 million disbursement to Ukraine that the group's BOA road will consider by the end of March, according to a statement on Saturday. In other Washington news, Blinken says all signs suggest Russia on the brink of invading Ukraine Reuters. Washington, February 20 Reuters U.S. For our next story, Biden and Putin agree in principle to summit on Ukraine, Francis Macron says the Globe and Mail. U.S. President Joe Biden and Russia's President Vladimir Putin meet for the U.S.-Russia summit at Villa Lagrange in Jean. B.A., Switzerland, June 16, 2021, Kevin Lamarck Reuters U.S. Wow, I have no opinion at all, but... Ukrainian military officials flee to bomb shelter after government-held regions shelled the Globe and Mail. Ukrainian soldiers are seen at combat positions near the line of separation from Russian-backed rebels, near the village of Bodanivka in the Donetsk region, on February 19, 2022. That's it for today. Have a good one. We're always working to improve our service. Please subscribe to show support. See description for sources. This content contains information from OpenWeather TM API, which is made available here under the Open Database License ODBL.